word of God. I am honored to be in this place tonight. Hallelujah. I'm, so, I'm giving thanks for Apostle John Mohorn who came up with this idea as the Lord dropped it in his spirit to bring pastors together and churches together. There's nothing more powerful than when we come together as one. And I started hearing them touching on my message, so I'm not even going to do that yet. I want to say thank God to all the men of God and women of God that are here. I know that if you throw a stone in this place, it land on a theologian. So there's so many other people that are far more qualified than I. So I am humbled and honored to stand to deliver the word to you on tonight. Amen. Amen. I know that you are people who are used to good work, so I pray that you're not disappointed today. And to the choir. Hallelujah in giving praises unto the Lord Most High. Come on, you can do better than that. I know you can. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says give honor where honor is due. I feel like I'm in the right place at the right time. If you have your Bibles, just turn with me to Genesis chapter 11. I'm reading about nine verses. I do trust you could stand with me until I'm done because when I'm done, you'll be sitting and I'll be standing. <laughs> so if we work together, we can accomplish a task. I also ask that while I'm reading, no one moves about. So this is not the moment to take a restroom break because we're about to read the word of God. I saw something on Facebook the other day, I believe it was in China, that a delivery of Bibles was made and people began to weep and hold on to it and kiss it. And I cried because I didn't treat my Bible the way they treated their Bibles. And I repented because I realized in that moment that I was not worthy for the gift that is the Word of God. And so I just ask you that if we could just be quiet for a moment as we just pay attention to the word of God and we're not moving about right now. If you are ready, say amen. 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 And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east and they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they dwelt there. They said one to another, go. Let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime they had for mortar. And they said, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men build and the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Come on. So let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. I want to look at verse 6 again, and the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this thing that they have planned to do, hmm, now nothing 
will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. You may be seated.